the United States Special Operations Command is planning something bigger than what we can imagine. Although superhero movies are just a way to enlighten our mood instantly, the U.S. Navy commander has stated some groundbreaking revelations in one of his speeches that makes us question what could the Navy be really capable of if the superhero movies lend them their concepts. Yes, you heard it right. The SOCOM has been lately planning to create a suit that would provide the highest level of protection out there. Well, it's almost like they are talking about the Iron Man suit, except for the fact that they actually are. The Commander-in-Chief has confirmed it locally, and we absolutely cannot stop talking about it. So without any further ado, let's dive right into the video to find out if the U.S. Special Operations Wing can turn this virtual reality into a security strategy. Before the video starts, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on the post notification bell to always stay updated with our uploads. After gatekeeping their latest innovations in security aspects for so many years now, the SOCOM has finally revealed it has something to do with numerous collaborations and dozens of scientists. The Special Operation Command of the U.S. is all set to use unprecedented outreach and collaboration with the biggest scientific firms to create something which has never been experienced before. This upcoming project is embedded with revolutionary capabilities and even more functions than one can imagine. Well, we have got to say the Avengers movie writers were much ahead of their times when they came up with the mighty Iron Man suit. If you are into superhero movies, then you might be well aware of how powerful this particular piece of covering could be, isn't it? In short, the suit is what makes Iron Man undefeatable, right? What if this technology is implicated on the war fields? How greatly would it affect the SOCOM stats? Quite tremendously, if we think about it. The Iron Man suit, or more technically known as the Tactical Assault Light Operated Suit, is the futuristic vision of Navy Administrator William H. McRaven. Also being the commander of SOCOM, he challenged the industry and its defense representatives at a conference to come up with the technology and concepts of building a real-life Talos. He basically challenged turning the Iron Man suit into a reality. This was during one of his parade closures in on 5th May 2013. His vision was to play a bigger hand in increasing the protection and enhancing the performance of the concerned, according to situational awareness. Following that speech, McRaven again made some popular remarks about it at a national defense conference on February 2014. By this time, he had already envisioned the development of the suit and put in the work required. He stated that Talos will be a combined effort, teaming about 56 corporations, 13 universities, 10 national laboratories, and 16 government agencies. He also stated that this innovation will bring together the brightest minds while focusing in a collective national effort. In short, man just wanted to challenge survivability and operator capability. Although the accurate working procedure of Talos is not yet fully clear, as its prototype has not been tested, it claims to tick few boxes in the battlefields. For example, it comes with a temperature regulator that can detect warm or cool temperatures outside and regulate accordingly on the inside. The suit is set to be embedded with antennas and computers that would eventually increase the situational awareness. Embedded sensors will monitor the operator's body temperature, heart rate, and hydration levels, which could benefit them in the war battlefield. The most advanced feature of this suit will be its first life-saving oxygen or hemorrhage control systems. Well, unlike Iron Man's replica suit, it would obviously not enable the operator to fly, but is just a stretch of the same. Now that it's been almost eight years of its announcement, SOCOM has partnered with the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency and their engineers to convert their vision into reality. Their concept is to create the Talos, but keeping it extremely lightweight. The Natick Lab is busy in identifying high-technology armor and is all set to release the probable prototype by the end of June. Do let us know in the comments down below. What do you think of this unique concept that correlates technology with mechanical power? Do you think the SOCOM will be able to pull it off the way it has been envisioned? Or could it lead to some miserable fails? If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up.